that's just the way it fucking is. Okay, so I'm obsessed with this girl's bundle. Her theme was Marie Antoinette on a killing spree. This is her third bundle, and she always asks for like really creative, fun themes, and we've given her some crazy shit. Like, one time we found these really old golf shoes that had like, the heel was like a, like a massive screw heel, and it was like so heavy duty and amazing, and like she loved them. So, bundle for her here. Option, both of the options are actually from my closet. So this dress, I, when I found this, I wanted to shoot it with like our eye girl pearls because of like the pearl detail up there, but I didn't get around to it, but I really want to give her it. So she gets it. This amazing dress and it has like all these amazing layers. I feel like she's going to die over it. And then we gave her the Anarchy Rosary spiked headband that's mine just because it's like the perfect weapon. And she said Marie Antoinette on a killing spree. So we definitely had to include some sort of weapon. This amazing fluffy faux fur coat to pair with this piece from my closet. It was giving me like royalty realness and it's a little bit more casual than this one so she could wear it more on like a day-to-day -day basis. Obvi, we did the pearls, like Marie Antoinette, we have to do the pearls. And she's like the goth, so we included this jumbo coal chamber sticker. So this bundle is for 412 Vintage Alexa. And she said that she wanted our bougie casual example. And this is actually her second bundle. So we are super stoked to pull this together for her. First option here, we did this super cute bundle example. It's called Y2K bougie casual. So we made sure that it was all very Y2K vibe as well. So we did this amazing vintage guest tube dress that has like an asymmetrical trim and this woven floral design and then i love how this o-ring bag tied into the orange and the floral because bougie we had to do the pearls and then we did these y2k era black frames that have the heart diamante detail and she's previously said to me that she loves the coffin pendant and we had this coffin pendant lying around the office so she's getting blessed with it and then these adorable little hair clips that have they're like super glittery. I feel like they're probably gonna look crazy on camera. Amazing DKNY jeans sweater. It's like super fluffy and soft and then the rainbow sequins all over. And I love how it's like all wonky, the logo here. And then this iridescent skirt from the last video that I was just talking about. I was like, it's so her vibe. I feel like she's into like a midi skirt recently. So I had to bless her with that. All of the pieces are super interchangeable. We gave her the sleepy. We gave her this Hello Kitty tank because it's about to be hot in New York. So this girl told us that she just turned 18 and she bought herself this bundle for her birthday. She said that she loves trad goth, 90s goth, romantic renaissance goth, vampire goth, really just like the whole realm of goth. And she said to like have fun with it. So this is what we pulled together. So first off, we saw some adorable dresses in her likes. We just found this breaking loose 90s era crushed velvet, like it's kind of baby dolly style dress that she could pair with the rosary and the black kiss classic sunnies. Over here, we did these black velvet trousers as they were giving me a very trad goth vibe to pair with the deep red grommet belt and this Depeche Mode baby tee. We also gave her this adorable stack situation with the bat ball chain necklace, the sleepy nameplate, and the Taurus choker. Had this dead stock queen of darkness top. We saw lots of bustier style tops in her likes. So this was like a more everyday thing that she could wear in her wardrobe and mix and match with so many pieces. And it has like, it's almost like a lace print that has like skulls in it. So she told us that she liked the 90s grunge baddie with a punk vibe. She said she also was into a goth vibe and with a splash of color. So, oh, and she also told us that she loves Evie Zamora from 13. So we did, for the first look here, we gave her these pants, which were giving me like Evie realness from 13. And they're by DKNY jeans back in the day and have like this super cute zipper. We did the red grommet. There was lots of like lingerie dresses and lingerie pieces and her likes. And she said the whole punk thing. So we gave her this red plaid Fredericks of Hollywood Y2K piece. I, it's like such an interesting piece. It's like open in the back like a bra and then it has that panel. It's so cool. This top paired with this pa these pants are super Evie and it also gives that splash of color that she asked for. 
has like stud details here. For the second fit, we gave her this dress, which is like the baddie. It's a 90s era gem by this brand called Tower USA. And she said she loves accessories, so we gave her lots of options to stack with. We gave her the She Devil, the Anarchy, which she asked for in our DMs, this choker by Tunnel Vision, which is adorable, the mini She Devils, and the Kiss Frames. Okay, so this girl asked for an Y2K angelic look. She said she loves Devin Lee Carlson, she said she loves Unif, and she said she wanted to incorporate some color. First, I did these pants here. They're amazing. They're like pink metallic and they're by, by this brand called Tight. So I think she's gonna totally love these and they totally go with the like angelic vibe. And this adorable rhinestone tank here by reference. There was lots of little rhinestone detail tanks in her likes. I think she'll totally be into this and she could pair it with so many more pieces in her wardrobe. She told me that she has the She Devil and she'd love the Eye Girl, so she got the Eye Girl. And by the way, the Eye Girl pendants are technically sold out, but I pulled a few of them out to be able to include in bundles, so. And the matching Eye Girl studs. And then for the second option, she said in her description that she'd love a midi skirt. So she's getting this dead stock midi skirt. It's old Forever 21. Look at that old tag and it still has the tag attached. And I feel like Devin would literally pair it with a black rib tank. So I included this black rib tank that has the baby fat rhinestone logo on it. And this adorable little tiny guest bag. It's like even cuter in person. It's so freaking cute. And there was a person her likes so that was like almost identical to this. Scorpio choker and those Diamante detail Y2K sunnies. Okay, I love this bundle. So she wanted something glam pixie or baby doll. And she said she wanted an option for a prom theme event she has coming up. So this is an option here that was very baby doll that she could pair with any of the accessories from this look. This adorable gray pleated skirt. It has like a purpley button, which also ties into the purple in this vintage L sweater. I also included this dress that was giving me like fairy realness. I love the floral print. And it's so cute because it has like a purple slip layer underneath. Paired with the eye girl pendant, eye girl stud earrings, those purple butterfly clips. For her prom option, she got this sparkly dress. It's so cute. I love a backless piece and it's like backless and has these strappy details. It's gonna be so cute on her. Paired with the eye girl pearls. This bundle, she said her icons are Ricky Thompson and Devin Lee Carlson. She said she loves statement pants, high-waisted only, but I'm very open, interesting prints, colors, and textures. I collect rare vintage tees. I like both oversized and fitted. I generally don't wear cutesy plain women's tees, really into more of a rare graphic. Love some of the ones you've given out, like the Adams Family and the Britney one to Devin. Anything super nostalgic or cool, basically. I love any type. I'm open to a statement skirt or shorts as well. Also love a statement jacket, anything that's interesting. Also have been wanting one of your eye girl pendants and I love the she devil hoops, that's all. Okay. So the two options we gave her, this first look I feel like really personified like the cool girl factor that she wanted. So she said she was into a statement, any sort of statement bottom. So we gave her these super high rise vintage shorts paired with, we had another one of the Adams Family baby tees and she had requested that in her DM. So we included that for her with this amazing vintage highway jacket. The tag is amazing. She said she loves a statement jacket, so I think she'll be totally into this. And with the eye girl pearls, I saw some pearl items in her Depop likes. Fuzzy bucket hat up there. I know that I'm pretty sure both Devin and Ricky have worn bucket hats on their Instagrams. And then this is a little bit more of an edgy option for her. We gave her another statement, like bright purple high rise uh, denim short. And they're by Rio back in the day paired with the Cure Baby Tee. She said that she loved a loose fit and a tight fit graphic tee. So we gave her a baby tee and more of a looser fit tee that we added a raw hem to. Paired with the Eye Girl Pendant, which she requested. And she asked for the She Devil Hoops, which we don't have. I know that Ricky does a lot of layering necklaces. So we included the She Devil Pendant so she can layer with the Aries Choker. So this girl lives in Sweden 
And she said, for my theme slash style, I'd love a look similar to the one you wore in Another Day in I Girl Shoes. The video, it was a look with the midi skirt with a Burberry print plus Deftones tee, like kind of unify. I dig how they usually style midi skirts, just basically wish for a cute but relaxed midi skirt look to lounge around in now that the heat started to hit Stockholm. I like bucket hats, but definitely not a must. I don't think I suit pink very well. I don't know if you're able to see what items I've ordered from you before. And then, yeah, these are the two options she got. I feel like we really embodied her vibe. So she said that she liked the Burberry print midi skirt. So we had this like kind of similar plaid print to that. It's a little bit in between, between a maxi and a midi, but I think she'll still be super into it. That she likes how I paired the midi skirt previously with the Deftones baby tee. So we did like a gothy baby tee. We did this Jack Skellington with this panda stuffed animal backpack that's so, so cute. The rosary, and we had this bucket hat, and she said she loves bucket hats. And then her second option over here, we didn't have another midi skirt in her size, but we had this amazing, very Unif-esque dress that is a midi skirt length. You have to see how adorable it is up here. Like the little white lace is amazing and the little bow and then it has the chrome clasps there and it's by Guess back in the day. But the pearls will just be so angelic. And we did some iridescent butterfly clips. This girl said that for my theme, I would like a soft, delicate, angelic shy girl theme. So we went for these three different fits here. Start right here. So she said in the description that she loves layering and she loves to do like a long sleeve under a dress. So we gave her this pink turtleneck to pair underneath this adorable zip front dress. There was a lot of like pale colors, whites and creams in her Depop likes. So I felt she'd be super into this dress. And it was really giving me the like shy girl part that she asked for in our messages. And then we gave her this super cute 2001 Sanrio clear bag. And the pink is like the exact same as that long sleeve. And I just thought it looked adorable with it. Over here, we did a pair of classic like mom jeans with this adorable ring, add little ball chains here, and then a silver grommet. She said that she loves pastel colors as well. So we gave her this pastel striped little tee here to pair with the candy. They're also like pastel colorway necklace. Over here, we did this really angelic little floral flowy skirt for her to pair with the Sonic Youth tee. And then she already has a bunch of the eye girl necklaces, but she didn't have the sleepy. And I felt like it really embodied her theme as well. And then we threw some little purple accents in to tie into the skirt, the purple Y2K frames, these butterfly clips that match the skirt like perfectly. It's kind of crazy. And then some little fairy pins. So this girl asked for grunge fairy. She said that she likes a lot of the looks I've been pulling lately. So first we did this amazing skirt. I love the like purple inside of the plaid. We did this vintage purse here to tie into the purple. And that also works with like literally any of the other outfits because we have like a purple theme going on. It was this amazing tank for her. It was giving me like the new Unif tank vibes and it's by Newport News back in the day. Pair with the pearls. I feel like this is like so my vibe lately, so I think that she'll be really into it. We had this amazing set. So this was giving me like super fairy vibes and very grungy as well. Paired with the sleepy nameplate, the black Y2K frames, and some butterfly clips up there. We did this asymmetrical trim fairy tube dress. So on point with her theme, purple, like, trippy print. I hate that word, but that's the only way to explain it. <laughs> this girl actually just bought a bundle last week and she came for another one on this round, which is so cute. I'm happy she loved her bundle. So this time around, she asked for Y2K Princess. For the first look, we did these really cute Wrangler mom jeans. I love how they're just like a really light wash paired with that pink satin top with the lace trim. I just recently wore like literally this exact fit. I wore like distressed vintage jeans and that top. And then we did the pearls that gives that like princess royalty vibe. We did this dress, which is super Y2K princess. By the way, yes, this is a doll's kill dress, but 
I don't work with Dolls Kill anymore, so everything that is Dolls Kill I've purchased. So this is actually something that I've bought that I've decided to give to her. We did this princess purse here that goes with like either look option, and we gave her this little alien keychain to add onto the O-ring there. These adorable Hello Kitty temporary tattoos that I just found. I bought a few packs of them the other day. All the little options are so good. I love that like animal print one, ladybug one is so cute. Did the pink Diamante Detail Sunnies, pink butterfly clips, and then this amazing purple satin slip dress. It's like super the vibe. And then those purple star iridescent clips and the eye girl studs. This girl said that I'm really interested in the traditional and romantic goth scene. So any of that nature would be perfect. I think a cute little goth angel baby look would be amazing since I'm a hem baby. I only wear crop tops or I wear high-waisted pants, skirts, and I generally gravitate towards long sleeves or wearing mesh clothes under short sleeve tanks since I'm not very comfortable showing my arms. So she said that she was only really comfortable in high-rise pants and long sleeve tops. So we included these vintage Arizona black jeans. We did this amazing mesh long sleeve top that has little rhinestone kissy detail here. There was almost everything on her Instagram and in her Depop likes were like a combination of black and red. And we saw some animal print too. So we included this piece that she can either wear as a top, you can open it up and like layer it with this, which would be really cool too. This corn book bag, it really tied into the black and red theme going on. We saw lots of adorable little gothy dresses in her likes. So we included this vintage slip dress, it has like the black lace trim along the bottom, black satin body and the lace along the top there too. Said that she likes doing layering. So we included pentagram mesh body stocking that would look so cute with this on top. And we did the sleepy nameplate and the she devil so she can stack them up or separate them with the fits. We did the zodiac choker in her sign. This girl, she asked us to style her for her formal. She says that it wasn't a prom, so not like super dressy like prom. And she said she loves Sid Nasty and that she said she's gonna style the looks with her wave platform. So this is where we went. Okay, so first we did this dress that has this amazing floral print. And I feel like Sid would totally wear this. And then we paired this beaded bag with it, which is also super Sid. And I love how it's like two different black and white florals. Like I'm super into that. So I hope she is too. Sid always throws like a fun fishnet. So we did this hot pink fishnet top to throw underneath. Doesn't have any eye girl accessories. So we gave her the classic eye girl pendant to pair with the classic studs the heart studs and to stack up with the sleepy. And then for her second option, we did this little sexy cheetah dress, the eye girl pearls. Okay, so this girl lives in Spain and she told us that she's a Capricorn, purple is her favorite color. My biggest inspos are Kat Stratford from 10 Things I Hate About You and Coraline, jo and Coraline Jones. I also love UNIF and the 70s and 90s fashion. I really like skate and surf culture and my favorite band is Team Impala. So she also gave us her IG and she said, I also really like witches and their magical vibe. And I already have the sheet level hoops and eye girl pendant. For her first look, we went super cat from 10 Things I Hate About You. We did these very cute denim jeans by Guess back in the 90s and then paired with a black grommet. And she said her favorite color is purple, so we gave her this super cute It's Our Time cardigan to pair with just this white rib tank. We gave it a raw hem for more like a grungy vibe, so she could always cut it shorter if she wants or like do whatever she wants. She has the she-devil hoop, so she could pair that with the matching she-devil pendant. Or if she's feeling a little bit more tomboyish, we also included this vintage green plaid button-up that would look really cute open with the white rib tank or she can have it more buttoned up for a, a little bit more of a masculine vibe and she said she loves wish witches and Coraline we included this witchy midi skirt it's by this brand called yeah which is so funny the tag is lol since she said she loves Coraline I thought she would be into like another Tim Burton graphic so we did this together forever baby tee that she can pair with the bat ball chain necklace and the Capricorn choker and the eye girl studs. Everything's super interchangeable though. I just wanted to kind of divvy it up into the different themes that she asked for. Final option. She said she's into surf culture. 
So we included this fun maxi skirt for her and she can pair it with the white rib tank and we included fun Y2K era shades with this sparkly butterfly clip. So this girl has ordered a bundle before and she got like a share clueless bundle and this time she's doing like a whole different theme. Her genre slash style is kawaii cutesy grunge girl. Like a girl who loves black and chains but also has a bomb Sanrio plush collection and loves adding a flare of pink. A style icon I think really puts these type of fits together is Draculina. So the first option here, we did these amazing. Me and Ruby have been like dying over these. They're actually nurse scrubs, I'm pretty sure, but they give like a total like trip New York City, like gothy vibe. It has the pink contrast stitching, cargo pockets, just hot pink details all around. We did this thermal top as an option. And then we did this fox girl top. The pink literally ties in exactly to the pants. And then she doesn't have the eye girl pendant, so we gave her that one. We did these Y2K era black frames with pink butterfly clips that tie into these pinks again. The eye girl studs, a little pink scrunchie. Okay, and then this option is also super adorable. For the kawaii vibe, we included this candy choker, the sleepy nameplate, this Jack Skellington hoodie. I love this hoodie. Did just like a classic little black dress. I thought it really went with like the arc element. We had another one of these guitar pink pattern chain backpacks. Hi cuties, thanks for tuning in to this week's styling video of all the iGirl bod bundles we did this week. So I'm pretty sure the 20 bundles of the week just sold out, but just a reminder that every Sunday at 2 p.m. I mark 20 bundles as available to do over the next seven days. And yeah, let me know below what else you wanna see. Tons of love.